fear. Four letter word. Those vibrations of those words are truly something else, you know? Quite powerful, magnificent, genius, unique in its way, you know? Just observing it and its effects on its on the people, you know. It makes them not move forward. It withholds one. Giving another to control. Because no one cannot control your soul. No, no, no. Remember, you are a God. We don't shy away from that. A God is an immortal being. A God is energy. There's consciousness. So many words, again, and labels through many cultures that are accustomed to using it. But I will use the word that I just mentioned. Nevertheless, this immortal being is indeed immortal, so fear should not be programmed within its peripheral. It should not be a principle within its reality. And yet, it feeds upon it still, consciously and unconsciously. A powerful program indeed. It stifles people makes them not go for it. Just do it. Just do it. You know? If uh, that slogan was a being, <laughs> I would be that slogan. Indeed. So I just do shit. You know? Fear have never been a program within my principle or within my reality. So people would see me as extremely fearless and very free in a way. And yeah, without fear, you, you are indeed free. You know, you can do whatever you want. You will do whatever you want. You were conscious to know the consequences of your doings, but still, you are not being held back. You will speak your mind. Calculated or uncalculated, nevertheless. You know, I love fearless people. They get it. They understand it. They vibrate higher than that program. Get rid of it. It doesn't serve you in your reality. It doesn't serve you in your universe. So, why are you still shackled to it? You're immortal, don't you know? Powerful being. My goodness. The English cannot really conceive what you are. In fact, no words that we vibrate with our tongue can conceive what we are. Only when you go into silent. And by silent, we mean by going within. Meditation. A true advocate of it. You know, when you patient yourself and just breathe, powerful things can happen. Breakthroughs can happen. You gain back your God power that you forgot on purpose because that's how it's designed to be. You know, Zuki, what do you think? You have anything to add or conclude as you lick your boot? Not right now, I guess, but she does chip in from time to time. She's very wise. Very wise. <laughs> Nevertheless, conquer your fears. Right? Have you conquered your fears, no one? Do you even know what fear is? <laughs> Animals have instincts, but we have intuition. And intuition is a way to guide us, to feed us information that we shouldn't know or do not know, to help us navigate the seen and the unseen world. Use your intuition. It overrides fear. 
It undermines fear. It overcomes fear. Use your courage. Simply vibrate higher than that. This is how you overcome anything in your life. You vibrate higher than your problems. It's quite simple than that. <laughs> simple. Just vibrate higher. You have the capability, each and every one of us. I am you, you are me. I am we, we are us. Collectively, individually, together. So, conquer your fears. And as you continue to produce the next generation, don't you dare program such a principle onto another being's reality. No. And if you don't know that you are living in fear, well, ask yourself certain questions. And hopefully within asking those questions, you can come to the answers. Or others can also tell you, you know, oftentimes one cannot see within themselves or see themselves, but others can clearly see what you do not see or refuse to see. There are infinite matters and infinite ways of saying it. There is no one guaranteed answers. Again, you are infinite. Hmm. Yeah. So that's the seed today. The seed is to vibrate higher than your fears. And use another powerful four-letter word. That's called love. And when you learn it and you know it and you fed upon it, let it nourish into unconditional love. And there, you will find all that you need to know. Conquer your fears.